Since Whitebeard is dead, I figured we might as well just get a Gold Roger card. This is my last video with my hair. So I wanted to give everybody an opportunity to say goodbye. Been a long time, but uh, I realized that it is the point in time for me to say goodbye to my hair and start a new book. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I wanted to make this video about my cards. I got some upcoming cards coming out. I wanted to share them. I'm really excited about all this new stuff I have coming up for the release of OP5 in December and January. I'm gonna have some serious heat coming out. So um, I just figured I'd start with kind of going through some of these wanted cards. I've been doing this thing I've been calling Wanted Wednesday. You may have seen this uh, Luffy wanted card. There will be an ST10 Luffy coming out because next week the next card that we'll be releasing is ST10 Kid wanted for Wanted Wednesdays. On Wednesdays I'm releasing wanted cards for the next couple weeks. Um, there also will be limited foil variants that have this different foiling pattern. These are limited to 10 copies. You can see the serialization in the glasses right there. So there's only 10 of these. Um, then there are regular foil and hyper foil. I'll, I'll just hold them next to each other so you can kind of see the difference. The, um, the regular foil is uh, not quite as shiny, um, but these are both hyper foil. Whoops. Here we go. Regular foil is not quite as shiny. Hyperfoil is really shiny. Um, this is five bucks cheaper. But uh, yeah, that's. I'm gonna be having ST10 Law coming out. Um, these are actually on the print bed right now, so I can't show you the uh, the limited foil variant of this. Um, but this is just my test print here. You can see artist print. Um, so. These are amazing. HZ19 is designing all of these. I'm just printing them, but we're working together to kind of like come up with the ideas. And the kid is a legend in the making. This was the first one I released was the Zorro. This is still on the site. There's a couple in stock. The hyperfoils are almost sold out. I did not do a limited foil variant of this. I might do it maybe at the end of the series. Um, but yeah, these, these came out pretty cool. And um, so I'm gonna be closing the shop on 11 14 and i'll be reopening about a week later maybe five or six days later i need a little bit of time but i'm going to be opening with a pretty wild card a wild card that uh hz19 and i collabed on my idea he fleshed it out and uh i'm pretty psyched about it so since whitebeard is dead i figured we might as well just get a gold roger card so this is the gold roger wanted card um it has 9,000 power and one life and the skills are dawn x2 it gains double attack dawn x3 it gains triple attack and dawn x10 you become king of the pirates david david's in dcg and i were talking about this he was like you should have made a dawn x11 player becomes king of the pirates I like that because then like you'd have to steal a dawn from your opponent or whatever but yeah so these are i i think i'm just gonna put this up as an eternal card like this is so cool to me i i don't know i'm, I'm trying to figure it out i still haven't figured it out yet but I, I printed some of these and um i'm pretty psyched about this so this will be this will be releasing when i reopen the shop as the first card and another pretty popular one i've done this actually might be my most popular card i've ever made um, is the Eternal Anel. I know everybody wanted this leader and I thought that I could deliver the job best. So I did my best to make it. Um, and this is available. I will be releasing um, limited foil variants. I have this one, this will be limited to 10 copies. The other one's Eternal, so it's always available. Um, I thought this looks really sick. And then the other limited foil is the star foil that also, I love the way this looks. Um, so I'm really psyched about these. I also have some really cool um, Japanese art style stuff. Uh, I have this law that I've been working on. Um, I found this art at Comic-Con and I had Ben 
work on a version of it so that I could um, print it up as the hyperfoil. And I also have a limited foil variant of that as well. And I also have a bunch of others. Uh, I'll just grab some of these to show here. These are all in sleeves already, so you're not gonna see like the texture quite as well and stuff. And I wanna de-sleeve them. So these are, um, this is Sabo here and Ace, Zoro, Luffy, both Luffy's, another wall there. Yamato is pretty hype and uh, Bello Betty coming. So really, really hype stuff. I'm very psyched um, to be releasing these. I have stuff scheduled about through the end of, just to the beginning of December. So I'll probably be releasing stuff on schedule and then these new cards will be coming out in December and January. So just something to look forward to. I just wanted to thank everybody for this amazing journey here at Kaizoku Cards. Um, I probably won't be doing this forever, but right now I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm always somebody that's looking for change and looking to do things differently. And I'm sure my interest will shift and I'll come to want to do something different in time. But for now, I'm having a blast and thank you for your support. I am Joku DMD. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. And I would recommend straightening your teeth. I've said this one a lot but it's worth it. Having a harmonious bite and being able to chew food comfortably, breathe comfortably, and um, do all the things with your mouth comfortably is a worthwhile investment because you use your mouth a lot, so it's worth the investment. Thank you. Gozaimasu. Ciao, man. Cut it right below this. This hair tie. Wait, I need right to do this. Hurry up, hurry up. We can draw it from here. Where are we going? Right here? Yeah. Right underneath the hair tie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Brother, brother, it's gonna be really good, brother. Get out of the way. <laughs>